The epoxy on our bulkheads is now cured. Um, so we'll go ahead and pull the eye bolts out. Uh, we're going to put these back in a little bit later. What we have to do now is to drill two holes here for the rail sled. Um, the, the rail thread, there's going to be two threaded rods that are going to go through the eBay. And those holes have to be drilled right now. Um, so it's important to mark the exact middle. And then we're going to put the holes two inches apart. As you can see on this one right here. You're going to draw a line across and then we're going to go two inches on center. So I'm going to find my middle. And I have a template here that you can download from the Apogee website. And you can lay that on there, find the middle. And then I'm marking the edge, marking here. And I'll extend that line. And then I'm going to go two inches from the middle, an inch on each side. Um, now I'm also going to need, when we assemble our, our eBay and put all the electronics in, we're going to need a hole for the wires to come through to get to the ejection charge. And it really doesn't matter where that hole goes. Um, you'll need to get the electronics mounting kit and there's these terminal blocks. And so the hole for the, uh, the wire just needs to be next to the, one of the blocks. So I'm going to put it right there. And then we're also going to need a hole to mount the ejection charge canister. And again, this one's not so critical. The only ones that are critical are these two here. Um, so I'll, I'm going to put that hole there. And I'm going to drill them all at the same time. Um, and I can use this kind of as a nice little table to drill. So let me get my mask and some safety glasses and let's start drilling some holes. Okay, while well, we've got the little drill out, we're going to have to come back and make those holes bigger. But we also need to put holes in these tubes um, for the, the rivets, the plastic rivets. And the rivets are to hold the tubes together. On one side of the eBay, we want everything held together. Um, so first I need to mark the tube and I'm going to put three holes in there so let me put it on my template here draw a line down the tube. Again, you want to use pencil, but I'm using pen just to make it easier for you to see it here. And I'm going to go all the way to the end, so I need to extend those. Now, 
I'm going to stick this on one end of the eBay and this end is now going to be forward. So from this point on it's forward and I'm just marking it so you can see that. And I'm going to put a piece of tape on here. And I want to extend that line. Okay. Now my, the end of my eBay is right here. I can see it because it's translucent. So I need to put three holes through the tube and the um, the eBay shoulder and that's for those plastic rivets. So they're going to go through. And So I'm going to drill the pilot holes now and then I'll come back and uh, open them up to 5 seconds of an inch. I don't have a 5 second inch drill bit here, but I'll do that in a little bit. And I'm also going to need a hole, a vent hole, for the, uh, the eBay and also a, a hole to get at the switch. And that's going to be right here. That's going to be right in the middle. So I'll just find the middle. Okay, and make sure I got all the holes in the right spot. I'm just going to take a piece of paper and wrap it around. And the location of these holes isn't so critical, but I'll make them nice. So that's how those will work. Now this hole here, I'm going to make that one a quarter inch. And I may need to come back and make it bigger depending on the switch on the inside. So got my holes in place. And now I'm coming back to these and we'll drill those. These two holes need to be wider. And I can also do that middle hole just to make this bolt go in and out a little easier. <laughs> 